What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another video here on my channel and today guys what we're going to be doing is talking a little bit about a deal that I actually recently got and I know a lot of you guys have been excited about some of the random uh, deal videos that I've uploaded like the Walmart ones that show you how to get games for super super cheap or get awesome trade in prices for your existing games. And that's kind of similar to what I'm going to be showing you today, except what I'm actually going to be showing you is how to get a brand new Xbox One for about $250. So, first of all, if you didn't know, on November 2nd, they actually dropped the price of the Xbox One down to $350. It's normally $400, uh, well, $399, so they dropped it to $349.99 or, you know, Whatever it is, uh, but they made it basically $350 now. So that's a, a pretty significant thing because it is now actually cheaper than the PlayStation 4. Now this is the one without the Kinect. The, the one with the Kinect is still an extra $100, I believe. But uh, the one without the Kinect at $350 is a pretty solid price by itself. I think that's going to help Microsoft in the battle here against Sony. Uh, currently, they're losing that battle pretty substantially. So dropping the price on it, I think, will help. But they're actually doing something else that's pretty awesome that I took advantage of. So if you're somebody who has an old console, and when I say an old console, I mean an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3, these two consoles, they're actually doing an awesome trade-in price for. So, you know, normally if you've got them right now, if you tried and trade in your current Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 at pretty much any place, they're going to give you like practically nothing for it. I mean, I, I think Walmart was given like five bucks or something like that for my Xbox 360 that I had. But when I went to the Microsoft store, they actually gave me $100 toward my Xbox One purchase. Now, they're not going to do it unless you're buying an Xbox One, so you do have to do that. But I had an Xbox 360 arcade. So that's the one that doesn't even have a hard drive or anything like that. It's pretty much the most ghetto Xbox 360 that ever existed. And I traded that in and got $100 off of my Xbox One. So that's pretty awesome. So it, it ended up being $250 for me to get my Xbox One. And the one that I actually got was this one that you're gonna see here. And I'm, I apologize because I think the lighting might not show it very well, but uh, I actually got the Assassin's Creed Unity uh, edition of the Xbox One. I think you can kind of see it there. Um, so this actually came with, let's see here, Assassin's Creed Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Unity. It's uh, the digital download for both of those. So I, I got that um, and, and that again was still 250 bucks. I mean, that's pretty awesome. You get two games, controller, um, you get all that and it's only 250 bucks. It is hard to beat that at this point when you're talking about getting into a next gen console. So uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick PSA about that. Now, if you're interested in actually doing this trade in with your existing Xbox 360 or your existing PlayStation 3, what you have to do is actually go to either the Microsoft store itself. So there was actually only one Microsoft store and it actually is Microsoft store. It's like a brand of stores like a Best Buy or like an Apple store is more like it. Uh, but I, in the state of Minnesota, there's only one Microsoft store. I know other store or other states have more of them than uh, we do here, but it was actually at the Mall of America. So uh, that's about 20, 25 minutes from my house. So my wife and I loaded up the baby. We went out to the Mall of America the other day and we actually took advantage of this deal. So as you can see, I did get that Xbox One. And uh, so when you bring it there, they're actually going to do an appraisal on it. Really all that they're looking for is to make sure that it functions. Um, if you have like an arcade though, they're, they're not going to take a hard drive or anything like that uh, from the Xbox 360. Um, they will let you keep that as far as I understand it because they said that it has personal information on it. So even if you have like one of the Xbox, um, the original Xbox is worth like that de detachable hard drive, you still get to keep that. Uh, if you have one that has an internal hard drive, you probably want to erase it before you get uh, give it to them because otherwise your data is still on it. I'm not expecting, of course, that they're going to steal anything from it, but you never know. Some people are scumbags, so make sure that you do that if you are doing the trade-in uh, with an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 that has an internal hard drive. Make sure you go in there and find out how to wipe it, search Google, and it'll be pretty easy for you to do a step-by-step -step on how to erase your personal information off of it. Um, 
But anyways, guys, then uh, if, if you don't have a Microsoft Store, you can actually go onto their website. I will leave a link to that in the description below. And you can actually go on there and get basically a coupon. And that'll, um, that'll give you the option to redeem that. You send it via mail then. Uh, and then they're going to actually take a couple of days, I'm sure, to actually make sure that it functions and things. So it's kind of a pain in the butt to do it that way. But if you have a Microsoft Store by you, uh, it's definitely the way to go, I think, if you're looking to upgrade to a next gen console to be honest with you i'm not even really that excited about have any of the games that are out for the xbox one to be completely honest with you guys um but i'm kind of i'm kind of excited for the halo that's coming up and of course next year they're gonna have the other halo and that i'm looking a lot forward to that so that should be a lot of fun um, anyways guys that is going to wrap up today's video if you have any questions of course I'd be glad to answer those in the comment section below uh, if you want to um, get any information make sure like I said go to the Microsoft website and I will leave a link to that in the description below hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you hit that like button and leave some comments below if you guys are planning on doing this type of trade in as well I would be excited to hear about it I want to see uh, how many people of my friends are going to be getting Xbox one because of of this deal maybe even in addition to your playstation 4 like i am so thank you guys again for watching the video hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon